Hi, it's Maria again. And in this video, we're going to address some of the deeper limiting beliefs that might be keeping us stuck. So addressing cravings and urges is an important part of making peace with food. However, there are other aspects that go into um, our, our challenges sometimes with releasing excess weight and um, the reason that we can't stay in alignment with our healthy eating. So one of the things that comes up frequently, particularly if we've have had a history of dieting and trying different things, we maybe develop this idea, this belief that we can't lose weight. Maybe everyone in our family has been overweight and deep down we believe that, oh, I'm, I'm resigned to be overweight because everybody in my family is overweight. Or maybe you've tried so many diets and, and you've been unsuccessful, so you've come to the conclusion that maybe there's something wrong with me and I can't lose weight. So that, that insidious belief that there's something wrong with me can often be um, amplified when we, when we go on um, diets that are not good for our bodies because it, it reinforces this understanding that I can't do this, there's something wrong with me and all of that. So the good news is that with tapping, we can start to shed light on some of those deeper beliefs, those deeper drivers that are keeping you stuck and we can release the energy around that and put in beliefs that are more life affirming, more in alignment with who you want to do, be, and have. So today we're going to talk about, we're going to do some tapping on the belief, I can't lose weight. So if that's true for you, if you, if you have that belief, maybe um or maybe if you're not even sure if you have that belief just just tap along with me and maybe some thoughts will come up around this so you start with identifying this statement i can't lose weight and and how true is that for you does that feel true is that a 10 or is it a five or is it a one again if you think that it's not um a true statement for you I'm going to encourage you to just tap along anyway, and um, maybe something will come up. Okay, so again, we start with our setup statement. Side of the hand, take a deep breath in and let it go. Even though it feels like I can't lose weight. I've tried so many diets. And I can't seem to lose weight. I deeply and completely love and accept myself, even though everybody in my family is overweight and I don't think I can really lose weight. I deeply and completely love and accept myself, even though my life up to now has shown me that I haven't been successful and I've created this belief that I can't lose weight. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And take a deep breath in and let it go. Again, we're gonna go through the round first, focusing on the problem, on the eyebrow, any thoughts or feelings or emotions that come up when you think about that. Maybe you have a picture in your mind, seeing yourself frustrated and angry and overwhelmed that your body is not releasing excess weight. You want to allow that all to flow. I can't lose weight. Side of the eye. I feel frustrated and upset with myself. My body is refusing to let go of excess weight, no matter what I do. Underneath the eye, take a deep breath in and let it go. I can't lose weight in a way that keeps it off, or so far I haven't been able to do it. Top of the lip, and I feel frustrated with myself and my body 
Maybe there's something wrong with me. Maybe there's something wrong with my body. Crease of the chin. God knows I've tried so many ways. Sometimes I've had a little success, but nothing sustainable. Underneath the arm, take a deep breath in and let it go. And even though up to this point, I haven't been able to lose weight, I choose to love, honor, and accept myself. Top of the head. Even though I'm really struggling with losing weight, I choose to love, honor, and accept myself on the eyebrow, even though my experience has led me to this belief that I can't lose weight. I choose to accept myself with love and compassion, the side of the eye. I wonder if I can take a different approach to releasing excess weight underneath the eye because the way I've been doing it hasn't been working. Maybe I'm stressing myself out and pushing too hard. Top of the lip. I wonder if I could lighten up around this and accept myself in the process. Crease of the chin, even though I have this strong belief that I can't lose weight. I wonder if I could lighten up with it and see it from a different way, a different perspective. The collarbone. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Underneath the arm. I've been struggling so long with this problem. Top of the head. I wonder if I could let go of the struggle and explore this in a different way. On the eyebrow, I choose to be curious and stop stressing myself out. Side of the eye. I choose to be more accepting of myself. and take the pressure off myself underneath the eye. I choose to support, support myself with kindness and encouragement. I choose to love, honor, and forgive myself. Crease of the chin. Take a deep breath in and let it go. I choose to remember that my body has an amazing ability and capacity to self-regulate and heal itself. On the collarbone, I choose to come into a more loving relationship with my body and stop beating myself up. Underneath the arm, I wonder if there's a deeper reason why my body is holding on to excess weight. Top of the lip. I choose to stop stressing myself out about this. Breathing in and letting go. I choose to learn how to honor my body and start to listen to it. In the side of the eye. Take a deep breath in and let it go. I'm grateful and appreciative that I'm tapping underneath the eye. I'm learning a lot about myself and my body. Top of the lip. I'm choosing to release excess weight in a new and different way. Crease of the chin. I'm choosing to be more accepting of my body even with excess weight. 
on the collarbone. I'm choosing to treat my body with more respect and dignity. Underneath the arm, take a deep breath in and let it go. Top of the head, breathing in and letting go. Release your arm, take another breath in and let it go. Drink some water. Go back to that number. Notice if anything changed or shifted. Maybe other thoughts came up and other experiences came up. Um, continue tapping until you start to feel more neutralized around that belief. And again, acceptance is such an important piece of this and approaching yourself and your body in a different way. When we're forcing, when we're fighting, when we're stressing ourselves out, it creates a lot of tension in the body and it actually keeps the weight on. We know that excessive cortisol, which it gets produced when we are stressing ourselves out, when we are emotionally badgering ourselves, when we're beating ourselves up, that alone will, will keep weight on or even increase weight. So the more you can de-stress yourself, the more you can de-stress your system, and the more you can be more supportive and kind to your body, the more you will support yourself in releasing not only the beliefs that are keeping you stuck, but the excess weight that is in some way trying to protect you. So that's all for today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye now.